Hi guys, I am Aurelia, an animated lip sync avatar. In this video, Chris will show you how you can animate your own avatar. As a bonus, you will learn how to generate audio from any voice, like this. This is Liam Neeson, and you are watching AI Knowledge To Go. Or how about this? I am Shadowheart, destroyer of cake and pastries. It can also generate not safe for work dialogue. This is great, right? Chris, why don't you take over? Gladly, Aurelia. Thank you. So we need ComfyUI. Go to this URL here and download the version you need. If you're an NVIDIA 50 series user, you need to download it from GitHub. So go to this URL and scroll down here until you reach this section. And if you are on Windows, then you are in luck. You can click here and it will lead you to this part of the page. Click here to download and afterwards unzip it on your hard drive. To be honest with you, you need to install a lot of things. To make it easier, you can head over to my Patreon where I wrote a little guide on what you actually need. So you see you need all these custom notes here installed on ComfyUI. And also I made a little guide for what to download with your VRAM sizes. And some of them have multiple downloads. Like I said, read my VRAM guide and download the version that fits your VRAM the best. I also listed where you have to put all your models in your ComfyUI. For example, put this Clip Vision H in Models Clip Vision. After you've done that, make sure you grab both of my workflows here that you can follow along. If you're a Patreon supporter, then you can download my one-click installer for free and put it in the folder you want, make a double click, and then the batch file will ask you how much VRAM you have. Let's say I have 24, and from here it will download ComfyUI, will install all the updates, all the packages. It will download all the models, will put them in the right folders. And yeah, basically all you have to do now is to drag in my workflows. So it can take a while, the installation can be about 50 gigabytes if you choose the biggest one. So yeah, it will take some time, but it's a stress-free experience, let me assure you. After the installer ran through, you can say yes and hit enter and it will start ComfyUI. If you see red boxes or an error message, then click on manager, click install missing custom notes and it should give you a list of the notes you need to install. If you get red boxes, even if you use my one click installer, then you need to filter for installed notes and it will tell you that it couldn't load a note or two. And this happens because um, we're using nightly builds sometimes and nightly builds are untested. If that happens to you, then click here on switch version and switch a version down or two. Let's examine the workflow. So up here we unload all the video models. Make sure you select the models that you actually downloaded. So for video model, I select VAN, in my case, Q4. For our lip sync talking model, make sure you select the single version, not the multi version. Because we will start with the video with a single speaker, not multiple. I will show you multiple speakers later. So make sure the LoRa is selected and also the VAE for decoding the video in the end. If you have Sage Attention installed for a real speed boost like I showed you in this video, then you need to do two things. First, you need to select for Attention Mode, Sage Attention, and you also need up here the Torch Compiled Settings. You need to drag this and let it go here for Compile Arguments. So what's next important on our list? What we need is an input image. An upper body shot works best. I drag it in and here I have an image resize node. So it will resize it to 768 by 768, but it will make sure to keep the proportion alive. Also, it only gets downscaled if it's bigger than this. Down here, we have the audio model. So here is where it gets interesting. Up here you can drag in the audio you want to use. So I'm using this. Don't forget to like and subscribe to AI Knowledge To Go. 
Don't forget, later on I will show you how you can make your own files. So below here we have this Melband Rowformer model. What it does is it separates vocals from instruments if you decide to upload a song. I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you about the quality of the outcome. The wave to vec model will be downloaded when we first run this workflow. This note here will prepare our audio file, so there are a couple of settings you need to keep in mind. For frames per second, make sure you select the same amount of frames later when you save out the video, otherwise the video will be out of sync. Audio scale and audio CFG scale are the driver between the lip sync movements, so ideal values are 1 and for CFG 3 to 5 actually. If the lip movement is too weak, you should increase audio scale or is it exaggerated, then you should decrease the value. For CFG, a higher value will give you a tighter lip sync, but it may distort the video, so be careful with that. Okay, let's go over here. So here we have our video prompt. A woman is talking confidently. The video generation is mainly driven by the infinite talk model and by your audio, so this doesn't do much to be honest. Also make sure you have selected the right value here. And yeah, let's move over here. This here is where the video rendering happens. I would leave everything as is, so I experimented a little, but this seemed to be the best settings. Here the video gets combined with your audio input and here is the important part where I told you make sure that you put in the same frame rate you put in over here. The value for both input fields should be between 20 and 30 frames. So we haven't talked about this down here. These notes here prepare our input image. Um, oh, I see motion frame 2 is a little bit low. Usually go with 5 to 9, so it also influences the motion a little. So a higher value should mean more motion and a smaller value should mean less motion. We have set everything up in my opinion, so let's click run up here and the execution failed because Melbrand Rowformer model isn't loaded because he couldn't found it. That's because I use the 16 FP version here. So, and I click run again. And as you can see, this model here gets downloaded the first time we use it. Check your console if you're unsure what's happening, but currently it seems that it gets downloaded and yeah video generation has already begun so this can take a couple of minutes guys i will see you afterwards by the way the longer your audio clip is the longer it takes of course this is our result here don't forget to like and subscribe to ai knowledge to go i like it the head movement is a little much in my opinion but it could be worse by the way, if you don't hear anything, you need to move your mouse onto this preview window here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to AI Knowledge To Go. So A if your head movement is too extreme, what you can do now is reduce motion frame here or reduce the audio scale and audio CFG scale. Now I will show you how you can make multiple people talk. It's a little bit hit and miss, so I haven't a perfect recipe here. Maybe someone who knows better than me can guide me here, but um, I will do my best to show you around. You know, Bruce, for someone so obsessed with control, you ordered a triple cheeseburger with extra bacon. Even warriors need fuel. The bacon was tactical. The grease keeps the gloves flexible. You see, it has a lot of mirrored movements and the lip sync isn't perfect, but I will show you anyways. So I'm up here again in our Lord video model. And what we need to do here is we need to switch infinite talk single to infinite talk multi. So if you used my one click downloader, it should have downloaded two models here. Then what we need to change is we need an input image where two people are visible. I'm dragging this image in, a woman and a man as a podcaster. I made it with ChatGPT because it was quick and yeah, it looks okay. 
And for audio input, you have multiple options. A method you could use is a multi-speaker setup. Move this note up here. And then you need to copy these four notes here. Copy and paste, Control C, Control V. And then just import this as audio too. So an important setting you have to make now is to set this here to add. So that means first it's speaker one and then it's speaker two and they get added up. In my opinion, the results are very similar. So we are going to use a parallel workflow here. Also what you can do to improve it is if you set the mode from infinite talk to multi-talk. One drawback is that the video is falling apart after a few seconds. Watch the Batman Wonder Woman example here. That's why I leave it here to infinite talk. So another way to improve mirror movements or decrease mirror movements if, if you decrease the scale here. So there is no ultimate recipe you have to try out for yourself. Sometimes the speakers get identified better and sometimes it's worse. So let's change it back here. Let's set it to parallel again and I'm deleting this one here and this looks good. And yeah, for prompt, I just change it to a woman and a man talking in a podcast. And then I hit run again. I will see you after this is rendered. We totally forgot to change the audio file. So you have to put the audio file in here. I fixed that for you and the output is this. Did you know you can create whole dialogue scenes with AI? I did not. Wow. What a time to be alive. So the result isn't that great, to be honest. If someone sees what I'm doing wrong here or knows how to improve on it, yeah, let me know in the comments and I will make another video about it. Now comes the part a lot of you have been waiting for, how to generate not safe for work dialogue. And for this, just drag my chatterbox text to speech workflow in. It should look like this. And yeah, as you can see, there's not much going on here, not much to explain. So you have to give it an input audio. So between 10 seconds and one minute is ideal. Three minutes like I did here is also good, but uh, my Wonder Woman text should also yield a good result here. You know, Bruce, for someone so obsessed with control, you ordered a triple cheeseburger with extra bacon. <laughs> You train like a monk, but you eat like a mercenary. By the way, guys, I won't show you a not safe for work prompt here. I'm sorry, but I like my videos monetized. And yeah, you can think of something on your own. Let's say the speech model has no problem interacting with certain body parts. For prompt, let's use this news article I made up. And yeah, about Skyrim running on a Nokia. So all you have to do now is press the run button. Um, uh, one value you want to keep in mind is this exaggeration here. This is a value, keep it between 0.4 and 0.7. So we will try different examples here. I will compare them um, and you will see uh, sometimes it will be too slow and sometimes it will be way too extreme. Also, when running it for the first time, it will download the text-to-speech model, so this can take a while again. Let's listen to the result here. In a shocking twist, Bethesda announced that Skyrim now runs on a Nokia 303010, though the entire game has been compressed into a single game of Snake. Players report the dragons are just long, squiggly lines, but still somehow manage to kill them instantly. I would say it's pretty amazing, right? I love the output. Now I'm going to crank up the exaggeration to 0.8, which is a little bit high, and I will see you when this is finished. So after downloading, this will run much faster. As you can see, it basically runs directly through. Yeah, see you soon. The new audio clip is a couple of seconds shorter. Let's listen in. 
In a shocking twist, Bethesda announced that Skyrim now runs on a Nokia 303010, though the entire game has been compressed into a single game of Snake. Players report the dragons are just long, squiggly lines, but still somehow manage to kill them instantly. Yeah, that sounds completely different. She reads much faster now. And also keep in mind the limit of Chatterbox is about 30 seconds, so the double of this text, basically. And yeah, um, it will just cut it off if it's too long, so make sure you keep that in mind when generating audio. You can also change the prompt to give it more of an emphasis, so writing it in capital letters will emphasize or this here should give a little bit of a pause i don't know what three dots will do maybe it will generate some um, strange sound but we will see let's just run it i set the exaggeration back to 0.6 by the way and yeah you see it runs directly through should be done yeah already done okay Let's see. Let's hear, I mean. In a shocking twist, Bethesda announced that Skyrim now runs on a Nokia 33010, though the entire game has been compressed into a single game of Snake. Players report the dragons are just long squiggly lines, but still somehow manage to kill them instantly. I think I heard this pause here, but I didn't hear the emphasis, so maybe we had to leave it at 0.8. Or maybe we experiment with 0.9 here. And yeah, let's run it again. Also, I want to see what happens if we do a couple of line breaks here. If she makes a pause, if it gives it an error. Um, yeah, we will see and find out. In a shocking twist, Bethesda announced that Skyrim now runs on a Nokia 303010, though the entire game has been compressed into a single game of Snake. Players report the dragons are just long squiggly lines, but still somehow manage to kill them instantly. So I didn't hear this pause, but I definitely hear this pause, uh, the line breaks, I mean. And I think I heard the compressed, the emphasis on compressed here. But yeah, um, you can try out these for yourself. Um, yeah, you have the workflow on my Patreon. So folks, I hope you learned a lot in this video. I hope you will turn in again and if you want to know how to generate not safe for work video then I suggest you watch this video here next.